Welcome to part 5 in a series of video tutorials on iPod repair. This tutorial is going to show you how to safely remove scratches from your iPod. Now in front of me I have an iPod 4th uh, generation 20 gigabyte. Um, basically it's a pretty common model, um, very popular. You can see the back as you can see has some scratches. It's quite scratched up. Back part which they call the chrome part and on the side you can see some scratches too. The bottom and on this all around basically you got scratches. Uh, it's a little bit also kind of scratched up on the front. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I remove these scratches. I've seen other videos that show you how to remove them with other methods, even banana peels, and it's kind of ridiculous. ridiculous. I've never even tried that, but I'm sure that won't work. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to get started. Uh, in front of me here, I have a bottle of metal polish. It's good for brass and copper. It's and um, I've been using this to remove scratches and it's worked pretty well. Uh, the chrome backing on the iPod is really where the scratches uh, if you own an iPod you probably know that the scratches are very very common on this side and they happen quite frequently and very easily. So I'm gonna get started here and you can see it now and let's uh, see what happens. So Let's open up this bottle. You should shake this thing up before you use it. I forgot to mention that. And it really works best when you shake it well to get all the ingredients mixed together within the bottle. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a cotton cloth, like the one I'm holding in my hand. I also put on it to shine every everything up and and do the job uh, anyway the cotton cloth I'm holding is I got this from a pair of khakis you can get it from a pillowcase or an old t-shirt as long as it's 100% cotton cotton does not scratch and it's also durable it, it's really the best type of material to use if you're looking to polish something so basically make sure it's 100% cotton and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically put a little bit just a little bit on the rig upside down you don't have to squeeze the bottle or anything and basically just rub it on like you can see right here. I'll do the chrome part first. You don't have to press too hard. Just do it straight and also like in winding motions. Take a look at that. It's not just the scratches, it's the dirt that's embedded within the scratches that it removes. Which makes, makes this polish pretty good. By the way, you can also use Brasso. It's another company which is pretty good. Uh, any good polish, a silver and metal polish, does a good job. So you see the Brasso or Wyman, those are two good metal polishes. Okay. Try the front.
forgot to mention, what you want to do is, when you use this, when you polish it, just put the iPod on hold. Put the hold button on because when you press the click wheel, it goes on. And there you go. Let's take a look at it now. Looks like a mirror. Like new. Here's the sides. Now, <clears throat> this is by far the best method that I know of to remove scratches, blemishes, and dirt off the iPod. And just look how much came off of that. And this iPod is it's not even that old. Let's take a look at that. So there you have it. Best way to remove scratches from an iPod. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them and uh, leave me messages. Feel free to leave me messages. Um, and if you're on the market for a new iPod, if you're looking to buy another one, uh, please check out our website at www.wholesaleelectronics.weebly.com www.wholesaleelectronics.weebly.com and thank you for tuning in.